Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition, where I am so quiet. <laughs> oh my gosh, it, I have to be though, I have to be. Welcome to Mass Effect ASMR, where today we're going to go kick some butt. I think I wanted to do, it's been a while since I played, um... <laughs> I am still in the hotel, as you can probably tell, because <laughs> I am so quiet, um, and I'm trying to play more, because I want to, <laughs> and also I'm out of videos, so <laughs> you guys will see this one sooner rather than later. Um, I'm just really self-conscious <laughs> if people can hear me through the walls, because I have to be, I feel like I have to be very, very quiet, um, but I will try to speak up a little. Um, but last I remember, we did a lot of this stuff. Um, have I gone... Did I go back and talk to Conrad Werner after the last mission? I feel like I did. An Ovaria? I maybe didn't. I'm gonna go check. I will go speed that speed over there. Also, what I haven't done during this or any subsequent playthrough after my first one. In my first one, after every main mission, I went back to talk to Anderson, and I haven't done that. <laughs> um, which makes me feel kind of bad, I might go talk to him too. Because I remember my first time playing, I was, I got very attached to Anderson very quickly. Like, definitely saw him as a father figure, you know? For my shepherd, and, you know. I personally really liked him. But it, it definitely helps that he definitely has like a father figure vibe for your shepherd. We're just walking around. We'll see if they get any fun. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We're just a bunch of biotics going on a day trip. Oh, we didn't. Oh. Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. Oh. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? I think he doesn't, he just doesn't understand how this whole thing works. Like, it's not like, it's not like one specter gets to sign up another one. You can recommend one, but you don't just get to sign them up. Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the council what humanity is capable of. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. <laughs> Freaking, I could just see like Liara and Caden in the background trying so hard to keep a straight face. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. And if you think that's the end of it... Boy, how... Oh, is that? No way. That can't be it. No. Huh. Because there's one... Somehow I did it before on... Maybe on accident? I don't know what I did. But somehow, like, his wife, like, kicks him out. 
because like he has like pictures of me all over the house male or female like he doesn't matter he's just like has a really unhealthy obsession with you and um and usually what happens too is you get to even if so even if you paragon him right you paragon him in mass effect one and he's like oh okay and you separate amicably because you can definitely se separate unamicably <laughs> uh if you do um like not rogue what's it called um renegade um but mass effect 2 will usually glitch your save file and so even if you've paragoned him mass effect 2 acts like you renegaded him so you're like you're like la 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 i said like me and conrad separated on pretty good terms and then you he shows up at a bar in mass effect 2 and he's like wearing like he's wearing like shreds of your armor like painted to look like your armor and stuff and he's like bullying everybody in the bar and he's like who do you think you are and i'm just like what happened to you <laughs> in the intervening years <laughs> but it turns out it, when i found out someone told me that it was because um because of a glitch essentially like the the save file glitches so I just thought that was funny, but I need to turn my phone off, apparently. At least turn on quiet. Um, so we did that. What do you want? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be the, he's the only one with neural shock. So we could give him Master Neural Shock if we even get to that point. I don't think we will. And really quick, I'm going to go find Anderson and have a chat with him. Oh boy. Your Noveria report raised a few eyebrows in the Council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. We should have finished them off. This queen isn't like the others. She's not interested in conquest or war. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Hey, well, Genocide it's a different problem in 50 years. Genocide of entire species is a years. terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good <laughs> idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. Dang it. I should have been coming in here. They will comment on all of your main questy things. Um, but yeah, no. To, to be, he's like, you should have killed her. We, vir we know virtually, like, you know, because he's like, they're murderers. And then I'm like, she's changed. He's like, well, I'm glad you're an expert on a species we know virtually nothing about. It's like, we know virtually nothing about them. So why just murder them out of hand, you know? To be fair, it might just be humans that know virtually nothing about them because we weren't around during the Rachni War. Yes, Commander? Do you know anything about Vermeer? Sorry, Shepard. I've never even heard of it before all this. You'll have to go out there and check it out for yourself. I think we get all this. Honor, it, but you're yeah. the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. Okay. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. I can't believe how many times she says I should go. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> I wonder if Jennifer Hale ever was like like herself was like do you guys think i say i should go too often and they're like no 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 we wrote it that way and she's like are you sure and and they're like no 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 no, it's fine she's like okay or if she didn't notice and so then it's extra funny in the mass effect 3 dlc the citadel dlc where you have that whole thing where she gets really self-conscious, like Shepard gets really self-conscious about how many times she says I should go Excellent and how she's recently it. released an official statement regarding their missing survey I wonder, team that would be Hades funny if it's like an actual kind of like According to the statement, reaction the remains from her. Of the survey team were discovered not far from their abandoned research camp. There were no survivors. It is believed the researchers were the victims of a random attack by raiders or mercenaries. What? Names what will be she? released after next of kin are notified. 
Nobody stands like that. Nobody, or nobody, nobody. Okay, the stretch at the beginning, right? She's like, oh, I'm scratching the back of my head, whatever. But, like, nobody just, like, fondles themselves in public like that. Like, oh, it's just, oh. <laughs> just one of those things. Boys being Stand boys, by you know? Shore party. Decontamination those, those, in those progress. Those dev boys. Dev boys being boys. Law. The commanding <laughs> officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. I always think of the uh, the newest Star Trek like iteration with one of the Chris's, right? I think, and the really hot Spock. Not that Spock wasn't ever not hot, but what are their names? I can't remember any of the new ones. Anyway, the, the very first of the new ones where it sort of like changed the timeline a bit. Um, at the very end, right? Like after the after the guy his bit who was the captain who is now the admiral, um, Pike, after he's been tortured and comes back, you know, he's brought back, you know. And at the very end when he gives over his ship to Kirk and uh, basically Kirk is like, you know, I sir, I really like it's a formal thing, I relieve you of y your ship or whatever and he just looks at him and smiles from the wheelchair and is like I stand relieved or something <laughs> and just like the way he says it is like really funny like he's just like you know not just like I've been released he's like I'm relieved <laughs> somewhat as I sit here recovering in a, a wheelchair anyway I just always think of that every time I hear that line in anything I stand relieved I'm like tee -hee. <laughs> just always see it I always hear that and see that scene in my head. Well, hopefully that only took a couple of minutes. In the recent past, a pyro band from the terminal system has carved a message into the surface using ship-based laser weapons. In a hundred meter wide Batarian syllabic, the message proclaims the military prowess and virility of one Captain Zayish. A smaller postscript alludes to the questionable parentage of all humans. That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work for a gag joke. Or not even a joke, I guess, but like a graffiti. Oh, oh, by the way, this may surprise you guys, but we do have several people who are very good at um, astronomy and know lots of things about astronomy. And I get little mini astronomy lessons in the comments sometimes. And it's just a pleasure, truly. Like, it's just really fun. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I'll see something. I'm like, that's interesting. Or we'll even just see something on the screen. And, or in one of these codex entries, you know. And they're like, well, here's this really cool background information. I'm like, are you all astrophysicists? <laughs> you must be astrophysicists. <laughs> or, you know, just, you know, you play a sci-fi game enough. You really think sci-fi stuff is cool and science and space is cool. So you start reading up about it. I did that, but I, like, I don't know, I did it a long time ago, and so my brain has lost a lot of it, and then also it's, it was very sporadic, you know, so I can't ever focus on anything for longer than, like, two months. It's annoying. Fast seas and orbital. This is a lovely planet, but the nearby terminus systems, who are the gangs and raiders, Oh, who do we need? We needed. We definitely need to bring Caden for the... <sighs> okay. Well, this doesn't really matter right now. Actually. Actually...
Commander, I'm reading I a signal. Must be up. our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense oh. towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Uh, by the way, I forgot. It's been a while. Um, but Vermeer is commander. the second to last planet. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. I still get to give commands even if you know the drill. Anyway, um, really quick. I need to make sure that I get the achievement for a certain person before before things go down. be enough but here we are as we all know as many of us know choices have to be made at some point and I have to get the achievement for taking a certain crew member out before uh, before my choice is made <laughs> these guys are benign they're just chilling Anyway, uh, Vermeer, I got distracted. I was trying to see how pretty it is. It's still pretty. Um, is. Uh, the planet where Saren has a face. And something's going down. Or no, we don't know that yet. Do we know that the Saren has a base? Anyway, there's a Solarian infiltration team here who sent a distress call, and it's because, <laughs> um, what, really? It's because they've been waylaid by the unexpected number of forces here. But we don't know that yet, technically. We just know that they've, um, asked for help. And not control. This controller? Controllers suck. Like truly. I am I, I I used to be good with controllers and now I am not. <gasps> no oh, okay. I think I didn't I think I didn't kill anybody. It's really weird though, because these things do look like machines, and so I'm like, oh no, it's machining. Oh my gosh, these just, these just went right through them. They're invincible. Anyway, you can- oh jeez. Oh no. You shouldn't put robots on a water world. Um... Oh man, blue gym. You can just kind of run past everybody here. <gasps> no! I'm a monster. Why have shields if you don't stand behind them? I swear in the original version, you had to take out each one of these shields. taken quite a bit of damage. I was like, what's this? Why is it so smoky? <laughs> I forget you can move. I forget you can move during repair. I probably, I look like such an idiot. 
I'm like, what is all I have played this game eight times and I just can't aim with this stupid controller? It's a new controller, I'll say that. It is a new controller. But I'm gonna blame it for my my enemy was. I think I just played too many FPSs now with my new controller. Or with my mouse and keyboard. <laughs> I that that wasn't even intentional. I'm not even lying. That was an accidental play. I know there's more of you. Let's go, squad. Nope, not that one. Appropriate weapons equipped. I just can't. I cannot. It's like so sensitive. Really? I can't even do anything. I swear I know how to aim. If I was playing on a mouse and keyboard, then you'd see my true power. Okay, I got it. Mm. Actually, it's so frustrating. I swear I'm not this bad. Despite me having gone through this whole game. Friggin. Acting like a moron. Also, I am sorry. I think the, the controller is very loud because I have the mic lower. So it's closer to the keyboard. Um, essentially, if you didn't realize also on this, this is one of the triple A towers. <laughs> this is the this is the double A towers, whatever they call it, the ant anti air machine things. Right? Or is this just one of the bridges? Usually there's two rooms, but maybe this maybe not on the first one. Maybe I'm just trying to zoom in too much. Maybe I just need a hip fire more. Maybe that would help me. Yeah, usually it's it's gotta be in the next ones. Where like you come in here and you go boop 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 and then you disable the A the double A guns. That's what it is. You've received word that a Slayer reconnaissance team on Burma has information about Saren. The message was unclear, and the council fears the team is in danger. 
You bet you it is. This is just a warm up. This rock, that rock, this whole area, that whole bridge area, it's sometimes really hard to get the maker through. At least in the old version. go back and forth really easily. Yeah, now it's been, like I used to be able to just like go like this and then I would just press, you know, forward and back on the, on the knob and it would be fine. And now it's like starting to turn and stuff. And it's responsive in a different way, which is fine. Normally you really can just run through these guys. Yeah. Yeah, we'll run through these ones. I'll run through these ones. It's I'm I'm missing out on the XP. These guys are just big. And also you're literally not punished for leaving them alive, so. There we go. There's the artillery that's keeping the Normandy at bay. There's the guns back there. Come on out. Please fight me in my in my Mako. Oh my gosh, Ashley does so much damage. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to move out, Commander. the gate. Because the gate was actually, this one was actually close to us. Until we broke in. It's 
there? I could have sworn there were multiple, like, gun emplacements. <gasps> I got light armor! The Colossus light armor! It's probably not any good compared to what I have. <gasps> it is! That's because the Colossus is... Oh, it's so much better! Look at it! It's actually kind of different. I think it's got more red in it. Oh, you can't... Oh, he looks so dumb. I'm glad. I was like, no, I'm not gonna pick up what's in that crate. It's probably nothing. It's just a regular crate. But no. I have been trained by the best. One always picks up the loot whenever possible. Anyway, Colossus is my fave. It's the best. And not only does it look the coolest, it has the best stats. <laughs> I was, I was, I, I doubted. I doubted for a second. I was like, mm, might not be the best. Might not be good enough. Lo and behold, ye of little faith. Colossus armor is always good. I. And however, I'm going to call this one here now. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'm glad I'm finally able to get to Vermeer and further the main mission. So I hope you all don't mind the quiet. I'll try to, you know, compensate for it in, in editing. But anyway, it's good to be back. So I hope you all are doing well. Oh, and I almost forgot. This is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. It's been a while. So I wanted to say thank you to Reese Galito, who is a sapling tier patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much, Reese. And thank you so much to Scalamonger, who is also a tier 2 patron, uh, sapling patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much, Scalamonger. I really appreciate it. Um, and an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron. And I just really super duper appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. You are, you're the tallest tree in the forest, and I appreciate you. Um, and since I can't shout out acorns, I won't do it, but thank you. Uh, okay, I, I did. I cheated. I'm sorry. I cheated a little bit, but I won't do it again. But thank you so much, little acorn friend. <laughs> I'm just so happy to have all three tiers. So um, thank you all to the rest of you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.